Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Great American RV here in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a Heartland Prowler, model number 323SBR. So let's take a look. The length on this Prowler is 36 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 7,940 and that hitch weight is 1,150. Whew, that's uh, pretty heavy. It is, and we have not shown you guys a Prowler before, no, we and don't. we think you're gonna like this one because it's got some really neat little things. It's a different. It's, a, it's, not what it, it's not what we were expecting by far. So we're just gonna start over here on this side because you have this interesting little door here. I like this. So instead of pass-through storage, this is going to actually go into a bunk room. We'll show you more of this from the inside. Wow. Uh, but so you have this nice little cargo door out here. I'll point out, point out right off that you do have electric stabilizers on this. Uh, dump area seems to be in a really good spot. Nice big slide. Um, Excuse me. Hey, let me just go on around this way while I'm here. We have not shown one of these. Now we're cat people, so I actually love the little logo on it. But so, water connection here. It is a 50 amp sort of. Mm -hmm. This one is going to have a spare. There's no ladder, but it is prepped for a backup camera. Now we're parked a little bit on a hill here, so it's we may be a little off kilter. Hey, we may have fun when we go inside, <laughs> won't we? Your storage, this is actually going to be your only outside storage, and this is going to be under your bed, but it's a very good size storage. Uh, you are going to have a power awning. 17 feet. 17 feet. So it does have an LED light strip under it. Foot. And you've got a little outside oh. area here with a little mini fridge and a yeah. suburban cooktop, a uh, yeah. suburban griddle. Yeah. Yeah, your outside shower is right next to it. And you can hook up TV out here. So hey, all of that's in a great place. Let's take a look. We'll start this way. But we'll just go ahead and start right up at the front. So there is your door that you saw from the outside. Wow. And this is just the neatest little bunk room. Uh, the bottom bunk will fold somehow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, so you can get. Fold, it pretty Well, it, yeah, it comes out. Yeah. So the you whole thing can, will can get come cargo out. in there. Um, so it's a double over double. Your tire link is in here do have a light switch now we don't have power in this one but um, I think it's gonna be light enough you can see great big shelves over here for storage um, it is also prepped for a washer can, can you get a stackable in here maybe at least a combo uh, yeah so at least a combo. it is prepped so this is the most unusual bunk room I think I have ever seen yeah. it is also prepped up here for another TV if you want to add one moving into the bathroom now most of you by now know jeremy's about six feet tall so hey with that skylight very hey, good not bad no, I like it. not bad at all uh mirror over there that's me hi uh no medicine cabinet behind it but you have this open storage here storage down below your sink and this one's going to have a plastic foot flush toilet, but it looks like you're going to have plenty of leg room around it. And they do give you some hooks right up there for your towels and cool. things. So the bathroom's got a little bit of an angled wall because that's going to be where your entertainment center is. Your TV is going to mount here. There's your connections. You've got a little storage space underneath your radio and actually a pretty good sized graystone electric fireplace. Under. I like it. Yes. Now, in your big slide over here, you're gonna have a jackknife sofa, 
uh, nice big windows, pleated shades in here, a big U-shaped dinette. So this will make some more sleeping if that bunk room isn't enough. Storage underneath it, and it is open storage, even right in the middle. And let's turn around and show you guys the kitchen. Look at this. This has got solid surface countertops. This is nice. Right so here. not only did that front bunk room surprise us, the solid surface countertops did too. Big storage up above. Here's your uh, one of your AC units in this one. Nice big spot under there for a garbage can. Uh, single basin sink, drawers. Wow. Now this is, does not have venting in the floor, so your heat's gonna be right there um, under the cabinets. Microwave is mounted up high. Seen that one before. <laughs> that is exactly like ours in case anybody wants to know. Three burner cooktop with an oven, and this one has got an air fryer. Air fryer, yes. So, wow. Oh, wait a minute, this is one of these. Ah, 12 volt compressor fridge. But if you happen to be coming from the other direction, you can open it over there too. Just in case you need the other hand. Absolutely. I like it. And it's right next to your pantry. So you've big got, it's pantry. a big pantry. Um, shelves all the way down to the floor. Wow. Really good pantry. All wow. right. Now at the back of your wow. camper is where your main bedroom is going to be. So this is going to have a king size bed. It is on a slide. There is some storage up above. You've got little uh, ledges on both sides with a USB on each one. And pretty sure there's going to be some... Okay. Yes. yes, there is storage. Now, if you remember that there was storage access from the outside, but um, but it's not connected. So, mm -hmm. I like that. At the foot of the bed is going to be wow. your wardrobe. Look I'm going to hand this over here so he can show you all of it. Wardrobe. There's a little shot there. And there's some more down below it. So, you also have this storage down there your fuses are going to be in here and then you've got all oh, you've got like this. a almost sort of like a credenza type um wow. unit here with storage below nice big shelf um i'm not sure well here is your connections for a tv i would think that your backer panel should be somewhere should be on that wall but we Definitely consult with your dealership. But anyway, your uh, hookups are there. But yeah, got this huge window here at the back. Wow. And then you even have other windows on each side. And this one does have another AC unit in here. And it closes off with a sliding door. Wow. All right, everybody, if you like this Heartland Prowler, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.